Your optometrist has diagnosed cataract and has referred you, perhaps via your GP, to your local hospital eye service for assessment and surgery at a later date if that is the right option for you at this time. Because the number of people with cataract is increasing, most local hospital eye services do not have sufficient resources to treat all their patients locally and this is why a number of patients will be invited to attend the Golden Jubilee Hospital in Glasgow. Some patients will be seen at the local service for assessment and will then come to the Golden Jubilee for surgery, while others will come to the Golden Jubilee for both assessment and then at a later date for surgery. The Golden Jubilee National Hospital is a national resource for the NHS in Scotland. Created in 2002 as a beacon of innovation in Scottish healthcare, it is tasked with reducing patient waiting times across a variety of high priority areas including ophthalmology, heart and lung disease and orthopaedics. Our ophthalmology department was established in 2007 as a specialist provider of high volume cataract surgery in line with the Scottish Government's commitment to the treatment time guarantee. Our service continues to expand and is now one of Scotland's largest ophthalmic units, carrying out around 18% of all cataract operations in Scotland. Over the next several years, this expansion will be continuing, providing a higher quality of care for more patients than ever before. If you are referred here for an assessment, you will be sent an appointment letter to attend our outpatients department. The entire assessment process may take several hours and if you are using transport provided by your local service to bring you here, you may be here for the best part of the day. After registering on arrival, you will see a nurse who will help you fill in a general health questionnaire, which will also include questions about any previous eye treatments. Straight into the light. The nurse will check your vision and carry out a few basic eye tests. You will yes, then be seen by one of our experienced optometrists who will carry out a thorough examination and discuss with you what cataract surgery would involve and whether this would be the right option for you at this stage. The optometrist will discuss the risks of surgery, what you can expect in terms of how well you will see and what kind of glasses you may need post-operatively. If you decide you do want to go ahead, you will then be seen by one of our surgeons who will make the final decision as to what needs to be done. It is important to be aware that no one will tell you that you need an operation. Our job is to give you all the information you need to help you make the decision for yourself. You should have surgery if and only if you feel your cataract is giving you difficulties or is getting worse quite quickly and therefore is likely to be causing difficulties in the near future. During your assessment you will see one of our nurses who will explain what will happen on the day of your surgery and will give you advice about post-operative care and any restrictions to your usual activities that might be necessary. We will also take a note of any dates when you will not be available for surgery as you will be receiving a date for surgery within 12 weeks of your assessment date. You will receive a letter advising you of the date of your operation. If you need hospital transport, this will be arranged by your local health board. If your operation is scheduled for the morning, you will be asked to arrive between 8 and 10.30 am. If you are scheduled for the afternoon, it will be between 12 noon and 1.30 pm. You can expect to be in the department for up to 4 hours. You will be asked to report to the hospital receptionists who will direct you to the cataract surgery area. You will then be greeted by one of our nurses who will then take you through to the theatre area. If someone has travelled with you, they will be asked to go off and return when your operation is finished. There is a hospital cafeteria on the ground floor and a restaurant in the hotel. We will take a contact number so we can give your friend or relative a call to say that you are ready to be collected so it would be good if he or she had a mobile phone. Last appointment. No, it's been fantastic. At this stage, the nurse will carry out some pre-operative checks. So, I'm Dr Cairns. You will then be seen briefly by your surgeon before being taken through to the operating theatre. You will not have to change your clothing. You will be given a theatre cap and an overgown to wear. 
Any valuables you have with you should be secured in a handbag or jacket pocket and any rings should be removed or if this is not possible, we will tape them up for you. The operation is carried out under local anaesthetic, which means you will be awake and aware of what is going on, but will not experience any significant pain or discomfort. A member of staff will sit with you and can hold your hand throughout the procedure. If you have any worries or concerns during the operation, you can alert us by squeezing the hand of the attendant, who can then alert the surgeon. The operation will take 10 to 15 minutes. Afterwards, you will be taken back to the recovery area. You will be offered a tea or a coffee and a nurse will go over the post-operative instructions, tell you about your eye drops and give you your discharge paperwork, including details about what to do in the event of any problems following your surgery. You will have eye drops to put in for four weeks after your operation. We generally recommend that you take things easy for a week or so, but on the whole, you can get back to your usual activities quite quickly. If, at any time, you have any problems or concerns, you should seek prompt advice. We will give you a list of contact phone numbers for that on the day of the surgery. Your first checkup after surgery will be in around a month's time, usually at your own local optometrist. After that, you will have your glasses updated. If the original plan was to do both eyes, you will be scheduled for a second eye surgery once we have received the report from your optician following your first post-op checkup. Much of this information and details of the risks and benefits of surgery are in the patient information booklet which was sent to you along with your appointment. Please read that booklet carefully and bring it with you to your outpatient appointment. If you have any questions arising from your reading of the booklet, feel free to write them down and bring those questions to your appointment so we can answer them for you. We look forward to seeing you here at the Golden Jubilee National Hospital. Music